Okay, I'm going to buy an energy here, my fourth one, <laughs> and knock out this last team in hangar. They have a uh, war machine, an Iron Man, big Iron Man, insanely large Captain Marvel. Um, really, my best team to fight them is Power Armor. And I think just to get this hangar knocked out early, because they only have 130 points so far, I think it's worth it just to knock it out. Although the next room that we're going to hit is Barracks, and it looks like a doozy. So, it's okay. I'm going overboard here and killing these guys with power armor, assuming my rescue doesn't get one shot right off the bat. Um, we'll see. So, hopefully it doesn't. Ah, that's what that is. Hmm. Did not know what that button did. Oops. <laughs> Alright. So, Captain Marvel's gonna murder something, or try to. Hopefully it's Vision or War Machine. Perfect. Look at that. The deflects from our hangar still up. That makes it a lot easier. Look, everybody's got boot buffs from these guys. Um... Thankfully, Black Widow did not put speed up on Captain Marvel, so that's good. Get 75% turn meter. Um, let's see. So she gets removed from stealth. I think we want to war block the war machine, but then her uh, dispel is also pretty bad. Her, uh, man, her, uh, what you call it, stun can be pretty bad. I think I want to prevent the stun, so let's just go for that and see what we get. Yeah, I got Captain Marvel. That's fine. All right, let's get rid of those deflects. Uh, we'll just use his off or his ult next. Um, anything done to w Captain Marvel right now? She's going to heal 20% health anyway. Um, so I'm thinking we just want to finish uh, clearing deflects and uh, get that widow down. Oh, well that killed. Oh my god, that almost murdered all of them. All right. Well, that wasn't expected. Um, but yeah, we're in good shape here. This team just rocks. Alright, so we need to focus Captain Marvel. I should have done that with my War Machine um, attack. But we'll just go ahead and throw offense down here because we don't really need it. Let's use the offense up Iron Man ult to do 95k and she's still alive. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, put this in 1x and let's murder him. Come on, War Machine. Alright. Look at that, 161k crit, 163k crit. Look at that shit. War Machine is the fucking bomb. Literally. <laughs> he just murdered them straight up. That is amazing. Oh yes. Um, so that wasn't so bad, but that that freaking Captain Marvel, she was. 79k. I think she had six red stars. I mean, oh, that is such like I wanted to murder her because I know people get stuck on her real easy. <laughs> like this one's 69k, and um, yeah, uh, man, I'll tell you what, this is not looking fun. 350k guardians plus Ultron, and then 343k min guardians with. A six red star Star Lord, five red star Minerva. Um, yeah, these are all huge ass teams. I looked it up. One of these guys is like 4.2 million CP, which is way more than anybody in our alliance. I think our highest is like 3.3 or 3.4. Um, so they're a little scattered on their their uh, power, but uh, yeah, this is looking rough. Oh, there goes another buff, and uh, yep. Panda 808 got him. <laughs> Look at that. They have three tier 13 Wakanda people. Man, that's crazy. But anyway, we'll be going for uh, barracks soon enough and uh, hopefully getting ahead here. We've already cleared their bridge. We've cleared half of a couple of rooms and now we full cleared their hangar. So we're hoping, um, since these guys seem very defensive, every room we fought, like there are no teams with just like one character on them. Everybody, nobody's, used, we haven't seen a single shield minion this whole time through. Um, so we think these guys are huge turtles right now. So that's why we're like, all right, let's kill hangar as fast as we can get that out of the way so that they have less attack power. 
and um, and then we're gonna focus this barracks down, and then go to security, and then either med bay or armory, depending on where they go. Um, so it just depends. If they haven't moved that much, then we probably go for um, armory first. But if they move a whole lot, then we will wait and uh, probably go for med bay instead, and then um, and clear some other stuff because we'll just focus on points and outrunning them in points rather than trying to st stymie their attack. It just depends. But we looked at med bay and it was just like double buffed. Um, these are decently sized teams. We probably could have blasted through them if we had to. Um, but the thing was, is we came through flight deck two, right? And we knew the bridge was right here. So we cleared half a bridge. We saw, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So we saw that. Um, we saw a bridge here, we cleared half of it, saw med bay here, and med bay is the least desirable of the global buffs. Um, you really don't want to waste a ton of resources getting it. It's one that you can get later and it really won't make that much of a difference. Um, it's just health. If you can win the battle, it really doesn't matter how long it takes generally. It's more about, you know, their stats and stuff, their attack being boosted 20%, their defense, their armor being boosted 20%. This is the one to go for. Barracks and armory are the ones you really want to kill. And hangar, I would say, is third. Um, it's pretty important. But when we came down here, we didn't have cargo bay cleared, so we looked at med bay and said there's a defense down and defense up. When you look at reactor, you can see the defense down or defense up is here. So that means it's adjacent to both of these, so engineering must be here. Once we cleared both sides of bridge, we could see cargo bay did not have a buff on it. That means um, that the engine or the security must be at the bottom. So once you know reactor cargo med bay and you know engineering security, that means there's two buff rooms in this bottom corner. There's only one down here. And you know, I was hoping it was armory down here in this corner because it would be kind of fun to knock out hangar and armory this early. But of course, these guys don't aren't stupid. Um, you want to split up armory and hangar as much as you can because whenever people see them, they will just annihilate them because that's everybody's just programmed to get those first and then focus barracks and then med bay if it's not too bad and then focus bridge reactor for points and then whatever you can clean up from there. And if you can full clear, you can full clear, you know, just go for it. But uh, generally you want to leave the flight decks that you haven't touched for last. And uh, cargo bay, if you can avoid it, is probably the least useful uh, room to kill because the buffs in there can ruin your your attack sometimes if you're trying to like just eke it out with power um you know that's that's how it goes so anyway I just thought i'd show that power armor destroyed that uh captain marvel team even though uh she didn't really get to do a whole lot because it killed her too fast but uh yeah sometimes you gotta overkill to finish a room like that because now look they haven't gotten that far 130 points is not a whole lot so killing hangar this early is really helpful for us i think so hopefully it'll uh help us down the line get us a few more defense wins but uh you never know so anyway just thought i'd show that power armor kicks ass if you're not building them you should uh, especially if you got any decent red stars on them because they are awesome in alliance wars and in arena so i'll make some videos on that too i've been using them and testing them uh with a different fifth each time to uh do some different challenges like challenging fights within arena so do some of that in the near future all right see you